Hey guys, Mike here at Amazed Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Alright, well today we're going to do a fairly short but hopefully useful video on how to create debris for your scene. Okay, so let's say you're working on a game environment and you're blowing up buildings and so forth and you got debris in the streets. Okay, now it's kind of a pain to go out and model each individual piece. So I'm going to show you a way to, uh, you know, speed that up a little bit. Alright. So we're going to start off with a basic sphere. I'm just going to drag that out in the grid. If it wants to respond anyway. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to hit R and we're going to scale it up a little bit like so. And we're just going to tweak this shape. You don't really have to, but you know, uh, breaking this into pieces looks a bit odd. So I'm just going to hit B on my keyboard for soft select. I'm going to right click and go to vertex. And I'm just going to take a couple of these areas, hit W, and just kind of tweak that overall shape so it doesn't look exactly like a sphere, right? I'm going to hold down B and left click and drag to make that uh, area a bit bigger. Just so it looks, uh, I don't know, maybe like a rock or something like that. Okay, and again, don't worry about that. It's just uh, just me, I think. Okay, let's say this is a rock. All right, cool. So we're going to right click at object mode. I'm going to hit B to turn off my soft select. There we go. And before you do anything else, and this is absolutely crucial, go up to edit, delete by type and history. And if you don't do that, it will not work. Okay, so that done, we're going to go to our FX menu. We're going to go to uh, effects and we're going to go down to shatter and hit the option box. Now you got three options. You can do a surface shatter, a solid shatter or a crack shatter. We're going to go for a solid. I'm just going to go up to edit and reset. So we're all on the same page here. And I want this to break up into, let's say eight pieces. Okay. Now, when we do that, we're going to get uh, eight very crisp and very clean cuts, and we don't really want that. So we're going to increase the edge jaggedness to make it look more natural. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay. And uh, most of that we're going to leave alone, except for this here. The original surface, we're going to select delete. What's going to happen? This object is going to be copied uh, onto itself, but then in eight pieces okay and we don't need the original anymore after that's done so we're going to select delete otherwise in your outliner you're going to have two objects sitting inside each other okay so let's hit create and that usually takes a little bit no, not too bad all right so now that we have that done if we go to our outliner window and outliner and we select our solid shatter object you have eight different sections created. And if I just take one of these, for example, and pull that out, you can clearly see that that's, you know, kind of a rough piece. And that's exactly what we want, right? So we're going to hit Control Z to go back. And another thing is that you can see that the inside of our object is yellow. All right. Now, there are other ways to um, create pieces uh, of rock by doing it dynamically, uh, having an object hit the ground and break up into pieces. But the reason why we're doing it this way is this will give you full control on where you want to position the pieces. Okay, so I can pull that out, you know, rotate that over, lay it on his back and so forth. And we'll just uh, move a few of these guys. We don't have that many anyway, so. All right, not sure if we have all eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a piece. Let's see. Okay, and that's a piece. All right. So we've got all these pieces that you can now position in your scene anywhere you like. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to um, texture one of these. Okay. And if we go into our material here, let's see, what we'll do is we'll go into our checker box. 
Actually, let's see if we can do this in one go. Okay, we're just going to select all of it. Right click assign new material. We're going to go with a Lambert. I'm going to hit my check box. Go to file. Like so. I'm going to select my folder. And on my desktop, I have a rock texture that I want to use. And we'll turn on this checkered box here so we can actually see it. And I want to bump map this so it looks a bit more realistic. So with that selected, we're going to go and we're going to select this again. We're going to go down to bump mapping, option box, again, file. And we're going to go to our file option here, select the folder. And I took the exact same image and in Photoshop, I turned it to a black and white image. And that's what we we'll use for a bump map. Okay. Now we're going to need to set the bump value. So we'll just have a close look here. Let's uh, see, we'll bring that back a little bit. Now, technically speaking, you would have to UV this, but these sections are going to be very, very small. They're going to be in your scene. Most of it looks okay. So that's a simple way to create debris. That's all there's to it. So hopefully this is helpful. And if you get any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.